Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and I wanted to show you some more features I've found with iOS 12. Now, none of these are really groundbreaking, but they're all nice, convenient features. So the first one has to do with your passwords, and you can now share them with AirDrop. So if you go into your settings, scroll down to your passwords and accounts, go into your web website and app passwords and you'll see here's one I made up if you just tap on your username or password it pops up and gives you the ability to airdrop so tap on airdrop and if you have anything within range that you can airdrop to it'll allow you to airdrop it now I'm not on Mac OS Mojave on this MacBook but you get the idea if you can accept it with iOS 12 or Mac OS Mojave uh, you'll be able to just copy and paste these over by tapping on them and airdropping them so that's a nice new convenient feature that uh, should come in the fall when, sep when this is released in September. Now the next thing has to do with battery. And the battery is something a lot of us are always trying to get better battery, things like that. Well, if you go into battery now, we'll wait for the new graph to show up. And I found this on my iPad the other day. I was using this and I got a suggestion at the top and that suggestion told me how I could save more battery. So let me show you that I screenshotted it on my iPad. So I was on my iPad pro and it said auto lock allows your iPad to sleep after being idle for several minutes. Tapping enable will set auto lock to the default 30 seconds. So if you look right there, you could tap enable. So I did that. And once I tapped enable, uh, it enabled it right from here. So you'll see right there, auto lock is enabled. And then it just did all of the optimal settings for that. So I hadn't seen that one before. And it was just a nice little touch that was added in. Now, another new thing that they've added to an existing app has to do with weather. And in the weather app, it can now tell you the air quality in your area. So I took a screenshot of that also. Let me show you. And this was the other day, you'll see it said unhealthy air quality for sensitive groups. And that's in the area I live. So it just lets you know that maybe you need to take your allergy medicine or just stay indoors or whatever, whatever that means for whatever area you're in. It's just letting you know. So that's a nice little update as well. Now there's another feature that we sort of saw in 11.4.1. If you go into settings, We'll go out and then you want to find your face ID and passcode or touch ID and passcode. Once you're in those settings, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you now have a little switch for USB accessories. And what this does is unlock iPhone to allow USB accessories to connect when it has been more than an hour since your iPhone was locked. And if you turn this on, what it does is it will lock your phone after an hour or so. So maybe someone gets a hold of your phone, they have some sort of tool that can enable hacking through your USB or your lightning port. This disables that without using your passcode uh, to actually re-enable the port. So it kind of, there were some people that were able to get past some iPhones using a special tool. This is kind of a way to turn that off. And they've just brought the time down to one hour when it times out. So all you'll have to do is when you want to connect to iTunes or something, just put it in here, put in your passcode, and you're good to go. But for other people, they won't be able to access the device that way. Now, there's something we can't see that we might see in the future, and that has to do with developers being able to enable an extension to report spam calls or texts. So maybe there's a different application that uses your phone dialer or texts, things like that. You can now report spam. We may see this come by the time this comes out in September. We may have this feature on here where we can report spam. So that might be a nice little feature for our texts. If you're getting a bunch of calls you shouldn't, we might be able to turn that on and let people know so maybe we'll finally stop getting those calls. There's also something that's not totally apparent but has to do with editing raw files. Now before you could edit raw in iOS 10 in newer. However with iOS 12 you can import those photos directly into the iPad. So if you've got one of the little adapter kits with an SD card or you want to go straight from your camera, you can now import raw directly into your photos. So that's a nice little feature if you want to use Lightroom and, and change some photos and things like that. Now, supposedly in the camera, there's better portrait lighting. So if I turn this around, go to portrait, uh, this portrait mode supposedly is a little bit better when you take these photos. I'm not really sure. I didn't notice any difference, but supposedly they've made some changes with this uh, that really help with whatever that means. You'll see it's locking onto my camera, but I think you get the idea. It supposedly improves on that, and 
we'll test that once it's closer to coming out. Now, moving back to passcodes, there's another new feature that just simplifies your life a little bit. Maybe you're going to a website and you're putting in your password and then you have two factor authentication turned on. So you put in your main password, then it texts you a code that you need to enter after. Apple will now recognize that it texts you that code and auto text or put your code back into that app so that it unlocks the app. You won't have to copy and paste it anymore and it just makes your life a little bit easier. Now as far as widgets go, I don't use a ton of them. However, there's a new screen time widget right here and it's not populating right now for some reason, but it, it will appear right here. And then finally, this is available to you right now. Apple has been updating maps and indoor maps. so. For instance, indoor maps now shows you new locations, and one of those is relevant to me. If we take a look at my local airport, Charlotte International Airport, you now have the inside of that airport. You can see exactly where all the terminals are and everything else, and it just helps you figure out where you're going. So there's a lot more locations available now. So those are some new things in iOS 12, things to make your life a little bit easier, and Hopefully we'll find some more that are even better. Let me know if you found anything though in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you have to say about that. Maybe you found some things no one else has. I'd love to see what you've got. If you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, I'll link it in the description below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.